It's cold, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's a little cooler than it should be, Scott, no doubt about it here. Let's uh, give you the view from our uh, Canberra network across central Indiana. One thing to point out here, over in Carmel and Tipton, a little more cloud cover than what we have across the central and southern sections of the state. And there probably will be a little gradual increase in the cloud cover. But it's nice to at least see some blue sky compared to the last couple of days. 45 at this hour in Indy with a wind chill around 40 degrees because of that wind that continues at about 10 miles per hour. Uh, you know, coming into the forecast today, I was thinking we'd have a few showers and then even a few more than what really we're seeing right now. It's still a possibility that we could have some light rain push through. Not going to completely rule that out, but the coverage probably is about 30 to 40 percent. So that means a lot of backyards may just have more clouds than anything and uh, not much re uh, precipitation, if you will. 10 miles per hour continue on that wind that eventually will calm down by 9 or 10 o'clock. Now that's going to be key. What's going to happen here? We're going to lose that blanket of clouds without the wind even the minimal heat that we have from today is going to go and escape up into the atmosphere. And voila, this is what's left behind. Temperatures in some locations that will go below freezing. And even in Indy, that 34 will be good, uh, good enough for some frost to develop here. In fact, I think it's pretty likely most of our viewing area will have frost by tomorrow morning. And really the first frost widespread that we've had since uh, you have to go all the way back to the spring. So uh, 34 Morgantown, Shelbyville at 34. And again, pretty much a widespread north to south, east or west frost. And that's why that frost advisory is in place from midnight until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. We have said all week long that tomorrow will be our best day. If you like sunshine, you like it a little warmer, we're going to finish at around 60 degrees on Thursday. And uh, if you got some yard work to get done, this is the day you want to do it. Because as we jump ahead to Friday, of course, we've got sectional football here. It is looking rather likely that we are going to have a wet finish to the day on Friday. We may start out dry, but this front comes in here. The rain will start to expand over us. This is 3 p.m. on Friday, and then we're going to have a pretty good bout of rain the way it looks. Enough cold air behind this front that we could have some flakes of snow flying around here both Saturday and Sunday. Keeping in mind that our average high is 62 degrees, and we're forecasting 43 on Sunday. You get the picture. Now, Halloween, the high right now, 52. Scott, it could change, but we got a dry forecast, and we're thinking 40s during the trick-or-treating hours, and I hope that forecast, the dry part of it at least, will hold true over the next seven days. All right, Sean, thanks.